What's unique about this course is that students really get to have their hands on the equipment and uh, they really get to learn about friction steel welding first in the classroom and then next uh, going out on the floor and actually using the equipment. Overall, it's a, it's a really great enhancement to their uh, education at an undergrad level. It's something that usually students, uh, engineers won't get to until they're about a graduate or a doctoral candidate level. In this course, we're researching lithium uh, aluminum alloy plates that would be similar to the alloys on the Orion capsule that they're using. And we're studying the weldability, tensile strengths, and mechanics of the material. It is, it is quite one thing to learn from books. It is quite another thing to learn from doing. And the role of uh, engineering colleges across the country has begun to shift to show that the role of doing really is important in turning out graduates that are valuable to the industry that we serve. The coolest part about this class to me is using the two friction stir welding machines, the PDS and the UWS. And it's actually the same machines that the engineers here are using. And it's really cool that we get to actually, for our final project, friction stir weld these aluminum alloy panels and see the data and just do everything that the engineers would be doing. So if we can have a student coming in that has significant experience, knows how to friction stir well, knows what it does, knows how, what it means, uh, obviously they hit the ground running versus someone else who we would have to train. People are our most important asset, and this course puts the technology directly into the hands of future engineers, researchers, and scientists, which will greatly benefit NASA programs and our nation's manufacturing industry. I would normally think of welding as a dirty, dangerous, um, kind of haphazard way of joining materials, where this friction stir welding uh, process is very clean and elegant and uh, just very interesting. I would absolutely recommend this friction stir welding course to other students, specifically mechanical engineering students, because of all of the mechanical engineering aspects that it touches on, uh, from metallurgy to structures of materials and properties of materials, to then manufacturing and, and you know, other design considerations. Later on, I think it's a great course, yeah.